Hello and welcome back to CubeVR. The last time I finished my temple and today I plan to uh, yeah, fix it up or finish it up because there is still some water that I have to place here and I must say I think I did a pretty good job with this part where I just covered up my cutout and overall in general I really like it. I know that someone actually disliked the last video where I completed the temple but I think that was probably because I was sick and this person just wanted me to not record videos while I'm sick or something like this. I am actually using a different kind of encoder today because usually I use the NVIDIA encoder but today I'm using the CPU to encode my video because usually I still have plenty of headroom on my CPU side and yeah with my GPU always running on a high level I thought that this could be a good time to try it out. I did a little test um, record and that worked pretty well. For now it seems pretty stable. The game is a little bit stuttery for me, but I hope that you don't see this in the video. And if I'm okay with the quality of the video, then I will keep it for now. I will definitely change to uh, a CPU encoding once I got a new Intel CPU. But it's still almost two years till it this time. So it still have to wait a bit longer. So let's see where my water is. Water block. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Four quests and some blue dye. I have four blue dye in my inventory. Because I was um, gathering resources yesterday. So I gathered some blue dye and kept it in my inventory just for my water crafting. So 64 water should be pretty good. So just like this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still not 100% back at full health. But I'm pretty close of being fit again. <laughs> so. I actually worked on my Evangelion after almost a year. And I finished like 10 layers. That's more than I did in the l whole last year. <laughs> Which is a bit sad for the Evangelion. But now he's starting to look really great and I can't wait to uh, work more on it. Do I have some dirt on me? Of course not. Hmm. I think I can remove this one. I don't need the picture frame anymore here, so yeah. Hmm. 
Ah, der war's der Schaffe. So, nice, nice, nice. Already out of water? Eh? I made like... 64. It's interesting that there are still so many blocks lying around because I was gathering quite a lot of stone. So I thought that there would have been 500 blocks in the world already. Maybe it wasn't enough. That would just mean that I have to put a little bit of work in here and just destroy 250 stones. <laughs> because each stone drops two stone blocks. That would mean after 250 stones, I will have 500 blocks lying around. Dual wielding iron pickaxes is really fast when it comes to this. So. That's the best way to clean up your building space without actually cleaning up your building space. <laughs> Just creating lots of stones. You just have to coordinate your arms, which I supposedly can't. <laughs> so. Well, I was sick this whole week. I got some medicine for my coughing. And yeah, I just stayed indoors, kept my lungs warm and I tried to sleep much which was pretty hard even <laughs> last night i was pretty tired so i went to bed around 11 30 pm but i thought hmm, let's just read one chapter of this nice little book i still reading ascendance of a bookworm i am on uh, volume 12 now and I thought, maybe you can read one chapter. So, yeah. I read and read and read and then suddenly <laughs> was already 2 a.m. <laughs> was so hilarious. I can't wait to see how they will design and animate Lassie. Lassie is the nickname for the panda bus. <laughs> the high beast the main character is using. High beasts are mythical creatures created by the magicians in the world to travel around so usually they have pegasi and chimeras but rosamine the main character decided to create a panda bus <laughs> a bus that looks like a panda and it's supposed to look a bit like the cat from my neighbor Totaro. It's really hilarious. And she was actually creating an intelligent talking sword <laughs> that out of um, unconsciousness. She was like, hmm, the wielder of this sword is pretty stupid. Would be nice if the sword could be intelligent. And then suddenly she created a sword with intelligence, exactly like she. Uh, um, intended it to be and it was really funny. I laughed quite a lot. <laughs> it was really cool. Overall I really like the world building in Ascendance of a Bookworm. A lot of people say that the world building in Muko Tenshai is even better. So I can't wait. Um, I really want to read it, but 
currently I'm still reading Ascendance of a Bookworm, so I have to wait. Because I don't want to read both at the same time. So. I think it would be a bad idea to try and read several light novels at the same time. That's why I intend to finish this title first. I think the game finally reached a good point with loadings. <laughs> Just saying this and then I got a micro stutter. Well, they are not so bad as they were when I was still on Windows 10. But lately I still got a lot of problems. Especially with my VRAM being filled to the brim, which is a bit surprising. Never had a problem before. Before I had more than 300 custom blocks installed and the game was fine. And now I'm down to 250 something? Yeah, 254. And... It's <laughs> really not so great anymore. I just want to show you how my Evangelion looks now. Because you can already see it in the distance. Looks pretty nice. So. Still have to update some of those chunks because they are double loaded foliage. Ah. Ooh, ooh. I actually wanted to build on my Evangelion today again, but yesterday the guys from Ramen VR. The guys who made the MMORPG Zenith VR, they released a pretty major patch or update and now after one and a half year after release, they finally got... Oh, it's really stuttery right now. Hmm. Maybe that's because of the fact that it's loading. But I shouldn't be loading anything because the world is already done loading. I have really bad time frames about 57 milliseconds. This is really bad. <laughs> oh. So yeah. Um, after one and a half year after release, they finally released their third main character. There were only two characters in the game, a sword fighter and a magician. The magician was using guns or pistols. Oh. No, let me out. Don't want to be in the hole. So... Excuse me. Uh, yeah, right now you can't see anything because it's dark. You can see a beautiful night sky though. Now it becomes a bit better. Nice. As you can see, some really nice legs. Hands are almost done. And I already started with having different colors on the back because those Evangelions are humanoid robots. They're not really robots. But yeah, they have to get powered with an external power supply. And this goes in the back. And as you can see there with the queen, this is where the Umbreal cord is supposed to get plugged in. Without a power supply, they have internal batteries lasting for 5 minutes. 
And with the exception of the mass produced ones that come later, all of the first Evangelions are test types and prototypes. And Unit 2 here is actually the third kind of Evangelion. And it's the actual first one that works as intended. The test type or Unit 0 is a big mess. Then we have Unit 1 who is built completely different. Then we have Unit 2. Unit 3 was a bit better but sadly got corrupted by some angels and had to be destroyed. And later entries in the series all had internal energy sources. Unit 1 also acquired one on its own because it can. <laughs> if you haven't watched Neon Genesis Evangelion and you are slightly interested in anime, you should definitely watch it. My co-worker who was not the biggest anime fan, probably still isn't, <clears throat> he liked um, Death Note and two or three other anime and I told him that he should watch Neon Genesis Evangelion. I gave him my DVDs and my Blu-rays for the first three um, movies, the new movies like Evangelion 1.11, 2.22, 3.33. Sadly not the fourth one because it's Amazon exclusive. And yeah, I don't like Amazon exclusive stuff because I don't want to have Amazon Prime just to watch an anime. Same reason I don't have Netflix or Wakamin or Hululu or Disney Plus. Well, I have to say the Disney Plus subtitles for Bleach were utter garbage. I saw the first part of the Thousand Year Arc or Thousand Year War Arc of Bleach and the subtitles were so bad. You could nicely understand what the characters in Japanese said in German because they used a lot of German words and yeah you could easily understand what they were saying but the subtitles were something totally different. Oh what wanted I to do? Hmm. Ha ha ha. I should be done with my temple. Maybe I should make a screenshot. I could take a screenshot after I'm done recording. Maybe I should reduce some of the torches he from here. I don't think they are necessary anymore. So, let's, yeah, it looks way better. No, don't go misty on me. Myth, go away. Become dark again, please. Thanks. No. Stop it. <laughs> but yeah, I think... Having a nice screenshot from here, maybe a bit elevated. From here. Mm. Yeah. Maybe even going a bit more in this direction. So just like this. Then we just have to cut down this tree. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Meow. Boop. I'm just going to collect the wood. 
So. Und hier. So. I used one more slash than necessary. Because I can. Boop, 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 boop. And the last one, I guess, here. So. Um, I was using Albert Bissett's one block mod, which is pretty nice. It's a mod that introduces a new uh, gameplay mechanic. And it's a one block mod, so like the. Why is it doing this? Like the skyblock from Minecraft. And it's really fun and maybe I will have a let's play episode next time. If you don't want this, just tell me in the comments, then I will do something else. Otherwise, I will just have a one block episode because one block is pretty nice. <laughs> it's really fun. Because you have to work with the resources that you get. So, yeah, it's not like you can go to the next mountain, mine a million stone blocks and then place them everywhere. You have to be cautious and constantly thinking about what you get. Because you get what you get from the block and then you have to live with this. Ah, I did put the... Did I put the rainbow color in here or at the building site? Hmm, I'm not so sure. So we still have some water blocks. still have some iron. I could place the iron in the chest at my furnace. Because that's where it would be useful. I think that I might yeah, I will definitely have um, one block next time. Maybe if you guys say no, then not. But usually there are no comments on my videos, so I can do whatever I want. And for the next project, I still have to think up something. It's just not that easy to... Think of anything fun to build. I could gather some st some wood, uh, stone, some coal. Coal. Ah, <laughs> oh, here. There's coal already. See, that's easy. I don't need any iron right now. But who knows, maybe there will be a new custom block that requires quite a lot of iron ore. Or maybe even iron ingots. And yeah, in case I want to build with it, I can just use it. I mean, I know of one block that requires a lot of iron ingots. And that would be the brick. The dark brick from Talsma uses a lot of yeah, a normal brick from Mica, sorry. It 
uses 27 iron bars, <laughs> which is a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> a lance a lot. <laughs> no, it really is quite a lot. Oh, there are some coal. Ooh. I think I've remembered this place. I think I've been here before. Many, many years ago. It is interesting how long I'm playing already in this world. And sometimes it feels like it's been ages since I was here. And then I get some kind of nostalgia of just coming here, remembering how it all started. Oh, that's quite a lot of coal. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's get in here. Because this is indeed quite a lot of coal. Would be a waste not to get it. I didn't get any coal. That means it got teleported on top. Which is a bit sad because the top is too far ahead. Oh. There's more. See. I knew that I could find more. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, there's one. But the others all got up here. I'm not sure if this could lead to confusion for some people. There it is. I mean, the new system is really nice. We don't have anything that is falling through the ground anymore, which I much appreciate. And overall is the best solution we can get because now nothing can fall through the ground. So people complaining that they lost their die or their crystals while Putting them out of their inventories is now not a problem anymore. Not getting anything from mining. I don't know if it's actually stated in the objectives that stuff got teleported on top of anything. I mean, I know what's going on, but usually when you play a video game, you don't check the Discord for any information. So I'm not so sure if people can be aware of this. Excuse me. So 118 coal. Let's put some in the chest. I will keep one stack on me for my Evangelion project. So, and one stack goes here. There's plenty of coal to melt all the iron. No. <laughs> Yeah, I still need a new inspiration what I can build next. Maybe something for my town. I don't want to build a castle here because I'm doing this in my German world. I don't want to... Uh, 
rebuild the same stuff over and over again. Maybe I could do something with the mountain here. Maybe I could try to build something like a sundial. We do have accurate shadows, so in theory I could make a sundial. But it wouldn't be as accurate. Hmm. <laughs> or I could just build something else. I could build a watchtower up there. Or maybe not a watchtower, but more like an observatory. Not the this observatory but like an observatory tower like a watchtower but with a little yeah platform like here yeah I think that could be nice a tower where you can go up and then you have a class platform where you can stand on and look around and take in all the surrounding I think that could work Yes, I think I will do this. Maybe I should um, make some blueprints. I still have one or two lessons of uh, media and data. I don't even know what the course is called. It's a really boring one. I skipped most of my classes there because I don't need to learn that you can burn DVDs and read PDFs but yeah sometimes I have to attend because attendance <laughs> and yeah I will use this time sitting there not just playing um, Morhun I don't know if you know Morhun Morhun is a pretty old yeah, screen shooter like Duckhound and we play this when we are in school and because it's really boring the old grandma in front is talking and we are playing Morhun <laughs> so maybe I will skip on some Morhun tournaments that we have and just make a blueprint for my observation deck maybe I will get inspiration from the Tokyo Tower or the Tokyo Sky Tree actually. Well, 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 maybe not, but yeah, I can make a tower and then a huge platform on top with glass and then a little pointy tip on top of it. Yeah, I can do this. And maybe I should use Elvenstone. Elvenstone or Sandstone? No, maybe not Sandstone, but Elvenstone would be nice. It's just stone and... Wait. Maybe limestone. I could use limestone bricks. I need green color for this. Yeah, let's go with limestone bricks. Then it would be really shiny in the sunlight, which can help identify the tower from far away. Nice. See, now I know what I can do next time. So, maybe no one block. Maybe you want to see me do the one block episode. Other than this, I will start with my new observation tower. 
I already have five green die. That means I can make 250 blocks, which will definitely be not enough. Do I have some in my chests? I should have 100, 200. Yeah, I think at least 200 blocks. Now it turns out to be a good thing that I have my little storage. It's not as grand as I wanted it to. Yeah, I have plenty of green dye. That's that's plenty. So I think it was like this. Come on. So yes. Yeah, I think I can have a nice tower with this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This will be nice. Nice, nice, nice. So. These sometimes just talking aloud about something can help getting new ideas. Nice. <laughs> See now I'm really hyped for my next project. This is the nice thing. Once you come up with ideas, you can't wait to make them a reality. So. Thanks for watching, I can't wait to start the next project and I want to do a one block episode. Now I'm torn between two projects. <laughs> well, let's see what we will do. Anyways, thanks for watching, till next time and please stay healthy. Bye!